How you My doing? name is Officer Usher, Baltimore County Police. I need to let you know you be an audio and video recorded. Okay. You know the reason I'm pulling over? No, I don't. What's that? I don't. It's just your tents, man. Your tents are far too dark and you got tents on the front windshield. You're not allowed to do that. All right, I get that. I get that situated. Are you the registered owner? I get that situated. Are you the registered owner of the car? Um, may I speak to a supervisor? You want to speak to a supervisor yes. in reference to what? Um, I just want to speak to a supervisor. In, in reference to? Um, I mean, I can get a supervisor out here. I just need to let him know what you're, what you're calling him out here for. You know what I mean? Because I have these papers right here. Okay. So I um I'll get this I'll get the tip took off. Okay. But if if it's a problem, then I'll I I would like to speak to a, a supervisor. What do you mean if it's a problem? Like if it's a, if it's illegal? No, like if no I I know I know that it's not illegal because I'm not um I'm not driving I'm traveling. Okay. But I'm saying you're so operating if that's a motor vehicle. A, I mean we can agree on that. So I'm just saying if that's a problem then I would like to speak to a supervisor. Okay I understand that I'll get the supervisor started out here. Right. Okay. You got your license or or any sort of identification with you? No. You don't have any sort of mm -hmm. identification? No. Do you have a Maryland driver's license? I don't have a driver's license because I'm not driving anymore. I know I understand that, but you know you're operating motor vehicle. You and I can agree on that. You say that you're traveling. I say you're driving. We can agree on the grounds that you're operating a motor vehicle. Yes? You're currently in Baltimore County. Can I speak to a supervisor? I, I'm going to get a super. I'm just explaining all of this out to you. I see you got your video started. I want to give you the best explanation that I can, okay? Yes, sir. So, you and I can meet on the common grounds that you're operating a motor vehicle on Baltimore County roads in the state of Maryland. Yes? We agree on that. You're not driving, you're I traveling. I don't agree with that. You don't agree with that? I agree that I'm traveling. You're traveling on Baltimore County roads in a motor vehicle that you're operating. Can I There's, speak to a supervisor? Like I said, I'm going to get one started out here. No big deal. All yeah. right. I'm just going to grab your name real quick. I am E. Bay. What's, uh, are you the registered owner? I am E. Bay. No, I understand that. Is this your vehicle? Or did you, did you steal it? You borrow it? I would like. Can I speak to a supervisor? Like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna get one started out here. No big deal. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You have insurance for the vehicle. Can I please speak to a supervisor? I'm, I'm gonna get one started out here. Like I said, no big deal. All, All right. right. All right. Thank you. You mind if I look over this stuff? Look over what? Your paperwork right there. I just want to make sure I don't violate any sort of your code of ethics, all right? You mind if I take it and read it? Yes, you okay. can read it. All right. Do that, I need to read that one that, as well? That's an oath to, um, that, that you guys take as uh, to the okay. office. That's okay. The, that's the oath that you take. Do I need to read that one as well? Um, This is just the court papers to back it up, but I would like to speak to a supervisor. Okay, you mind if I read that? I'd like to. I mean, I'd like to understand a little bit more about what you're saying, you know? Can I speak to a supervisor? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna request a supervisor as soon as I go back to All my right. vehicle. Okay. Like I said, I just want to understand a little bit more. I don't wanna I don't wanna violate any sort of your uh, your code of ethics or anything like that. Okay, that's how we're gonna do it. I appreciate it. That's... Hang tight for one second. All right. Hey Antonio, do me a favor and roll down your window so I can speak with you. All right. So. Here's the deal. I know you have a learner's permit, okay? You don't have a driver's license. Your name's Antonio Clifford Jackson Jr., date of birth 927-98. You're 57135. Uh, I pulled your picture up That's in the That's my explanation of me. Okay, yeah, I pulled your picture up in the car. So here's the thing. When you went to the NBA to get your learner's permit, you submitted to a whole bunch of rules and regulations to follow, okay? I'm just letting you know. Um, I, I know that you're driving without a license. You're driving with a learner's permit. I have a couple options right now, okay? I can give you a whole bunch of tickets, give you a whole bunch of warnings, or I can make you get out of the car, find another ride, and tow your car because you're driving without a license. That's where we're at right now. So, if yeah, you want, speak to a supervisor. my supervisor's on the way out here right now. All right. Like I said from the very beginning, no big deal. So, um, is this how we're going to play? Because I'll go back and I'll start writing the tickets right now. You can go ahead and call for a ride because I'm going to tow the car. You're driving without a, uh, a driver's license. So. If you want to keep this straight up, I mean, like I said, I'm cool with towing your car. That doesn't make a difference to me. But you got that all on video. I've been nothing but nice to you. I've explained everything to you. What's it gonna be? My supervisor's on his way out here right now. 
You want me to go start writing the tickets? I want you to I want you to get the supervisor. He's on his way out here right now. All right. All right, but I'm going to be proactive and productive and uh, start writing those tickets for you, all right? Do me a, do And you, where, uh, the paper that I gave you, do you uh, guys have that, other, that officer has it right there, I believe. Did you read it? Yeah, I was reading through it. Um, right. He's my supervisor rolling up right now. All right. Um, so it would probably be in your best interest. I, I know you got your video up and you want to keep that going, um, but you're going to have to make a phone call. If, I, I saw, you know, your zip code's 21216. That's not close, so you're probably wanna, going to call somebody to give you a ride, okay? All right, I'll be right back. Hey, can I have that paper? Oh, give it to the supervisor. To the supervisor. I was reading, it's very informative. Can you just check to see if there's some signs there? What's up, buddy? Are you the supervisor? Nope. Why don't you just give him your license and ID and cut the crap? That way... If you can be on your way. Because um, listen, I don't want to hear all the mumbo jumbo. Okay, all right. Let's speak to a supervisor. He's getting ready to walk up, but he's going to tell you the same thing. All right, I would like to speak to a supervisor. So, where's your ID or your license? I don't have that. You don't have it on you at all. I don't have that. You don't have any identification on you. I'm not sure if you're familiar or anything. Huh? You don't have any ID. I would like to speak to a supervisor. Do you have ID on you? They're gonna ask you the same thing. So you can just cut to the chase and you can be on your way. Right? In reference to the complaint that's You're being audio and video recorded too, just so you know. I know. So are you guys. Excellent. And can I have your badge number? Nope. I can't have your badge number. There's no reason okay. for you to have it. So there's no reason for you guys to have my identification. Sure there is. No. So he can ID you based the right on to the travel reason right here. You on the traffic stop. The right to travel. The right to mode of conveyance. Where'd you get that piece of the paper? The right to, is you take an oath to a constitution. Oh, okay. I just gave him the paper. You print, you printed that I just out gave yourself? him the paper right there. That's what you. That's what officers take an oath to. So, can I can I speak to a supervisor? He's getting ready to walk up. All right. But we have to have a way to ID you. No, right? I, I, I have to have a, a way to ID you. And you guys get, pulling get, me you'll over. You get the officer's name. That no, I, can I have your badge number? I'm just trying to help him out, maybe by trying to talk to you before they come up here and things go away that you might not want them to go. I would like to speak to a supervisor. So you have no ID on you at all. Do you have an ID on you? Sure, right there. What's your badge number? That's my name right there. What's your nationality? That's none of your business. Do you have ID on so you? So when I identify myself to you guys, mm -hmm. it's it. it can it I speak tell to a supervisor? Your nationality. Yes, it does. Okay. It tells it tells you that the ID that you guys are looking for, you 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 think you think I'm gonna give you guys a a corporation. We just think you're gonna do it what everybody else does. No, just I'm show not. your ID. That's all. We I'm expect. not right. because that's what you guys take an oath to. I have my why, right to travel. Why are you the only one that has a problem with this? Why does everybody else? Because everybody else is lacking of knowledge. Oh, okay. So you're smarter than everybody else. That's I'm not saying that. I just want to speak to a supervisor. You, you're new to this, aren't you? No. Because normally guys that have been doing this a while don't need a piece of paper to read from like you. I mean. You're new to it, right? That's what you guys take over to. You're new to this, right? That's what you guys take over to. You're new to this though, right? No. The piece of paper you're holding? No. You must be. You're a newbie. No. Just hang tight. Somebody will come up and talk to you if you're not right. going to cooperate. But right. you might have to get out of the car. I don't have to get out of the car. If we can't ID you, you might have to. So You don't have anything in the car you shouldn't have, right? Where are you coming from? Work? School? Store? Nowhere? I just want to speak to a supervisor. That's a... Uh... Hey, Mr. Jackson. So I got my supervisor right here. This is Corporal Sager. How you Sager. doing, Mr. Supervisor? This is, hey, this can I... Mr. Jackson. This is Corporal Sager. Can I have your badge number? Sure. 5783. 5783? Yeah, and again, my name is Corporal Sager. You can see it right here. All right. Um, Can I have that paper that, I, uh, the, uh, that the, uh, one of you... He has it. That officer has it. Sure. Yes, what paper Bruce? is that we got? It's a paper that, uh, that you guys take an oath to? Sure. That officers take an oath to? 
Okay, so so here's where we are, Mr. Jackson. We possibly identified who you are. We but that's not are. me. That's not me as the flesh. Right, but that's the name that you had to use to the MBA to get the privilege to drive. Unfortunately, your privilege to drive is not complete because you only have what's called a Class C learners. And in the state of Maryland, somebody with a Class C learners needs to have somebody over a certain age with a valid license in the driver's seat to be able to continue driving. Okay? So I know that so you're you not the one that came up with these rules, right? You you may not have even, you're, you're a younger man, you may not have even voted for somebody who came up with them. Okay, but they are the rules that we follow here on the streets of Baltimore County. That you guys follow. They're the, they're the rules that you guys, that, that that applies to you guys, not me. Yeah, unfortunately it applies to everybody that's traveling on the Baltimore that's, County Road. That's true. Okay? Well, I'm traveling. So I, I know that you sort of wish that this isn't the case, and it might be that through advocacy and through your vote and through your voice, you're able to make changes that you feel would make a better society. But we are currently living and functioning in the society as it stands now. But okay? those laws doesn't apply to me. They, they sure do. Okay, so what we're trying to do is work within those laws to cut you as much of a break as possible. Okay, because I understand if you, if you don't self-identify as Mr. Jackson, if you self-identify as something else, the fact that you're going to receive citations today is really going to jam you up because you'll probably FTA for court and it'll become an issue with a warrant later on. Hmm. What we're trying to do is keep this as easy for you as possible. Currently, your car is parked blocking a driveway, which gives us the right to tow it because you're not going to be able to move this car because you I don't see. have a bad license. What I would like to be able to do, with your permission, of course, is I would like to move your car into a valid parking spot. That would be a couple of I feet I can back. move it up. Okay? So then from that point on, if you have another a valid licensed driver that wants to swing by and drive this car away, the car, the car is great to do so. Right, your your license is valid. It's just a. I don't have a license. You don't have a full license. You have I don't have a license. Okay, so I'm willing to work for that because the fact that you're going to receive citations today is already going to be a little bit of a financial burden on you. What I don't want to do is then add an unnecessary tow bill, which until you then decide to take a registration for the vehicle and go pick so it up, so you it just got continues to yeah. amass. All right, so I'm I'm trying to figure out what I can do to help you out. They and called I, you out because you wanted to talk with a supervisor, somebody yes, that had a little bit more discretion, a little bit of leverage, and that's why I'm here today. The right of a citizen to travel upon the public highways and to transport one's property thereon. I'm not trying. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not dealing with. I'm not dealing commerce right now. So, I'm not transporting any goods. There's no injured party. I'm being detained. And like like I said. Okay, that, that is the way that you wish that this was going to go. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, that is not the rules and the reality in which we function. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to do my best for you. That I, I know that it's frustrating to have all these police officers around. I know that it's frustrating to have to be, you know, sitting here parked, surrounded by us for as long as you have. Now, I appreciate the fact I'm being that you're still detained. being calm, yes. you're still being rational. Okay, so we're going to try to strike while that iron is hot. Okay, and use that rationality for you to understand this doesn't end Can I ask you one paper. question? Yes, sir, man. What is your nationality? I'm a United States right. citizen. So a United States citizen sure cannot... Okay. A, a, a U.S. citizen cannot enforce law. Hey, and I'm going to start a tell. We can cancel it, but I'm going to start a tell. Okay. A U.S. citizen right, so cannot enforce law. I, I, I know that you, you kind of got that now there's a time frame going on, okay? So what happens is in, in Baltimore County, there's a number of companies that have a contract with the county, and their, their contract states that they are able to arrive on scene anywhere we request a tow within a 15-minute time period. All right? Usually it takes less than that. So I would love to be able to cancel that tow and not have you end up with a tow bill over this. Right? So I, I get it, but your place to, to, make, to make this sort of logistical stand is not here on the street. Right, we at the end of the day are police officers. The so we can take arguing, it to court. Yes, the we can. The things we're arguing are things can take that can it to argue court. to court and things that can argue in front right. of the legislature. All right. So when Officer Usher brings the citations up, it's going to say, "Here's how you pay it. Here's okay. how you take it to court." If taking All right. To court is what you desire. Perfect. That's well within your rights to do. All right. All right. So is there a, a phone call that we can make somebody to come give you a ride, or are you close enough to take you guys? Bus? You guys can't tow my car. Well, we can because you can't drive it forward because you don't have the valid license okay and the place that you I'm not like, driving though, I'm traveling over okay I'm traveling is blocking a residential driveway so I can I can easily right travel up 
right now. These, these are the things. These are the things that are going to become an issue for you. Is that if you move the car right now, right? You're in violation. You're doing this thing in my presence, which is a lot different than the fact that when this officer pulled you over, we hadn't identified you. Now that we know you're not a valid licensed driver, I had, I'm he trying hasn't to help identified you out. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to help you out. Your, your place to argue it is in a is in a court of law. All right, so we can take it there. Okay, so that's where it will go eventually. But for right now, your car is either getting towed or I'm moving it. Right, those are your options. And I feel like I've done as good of a job as I can of explaining. You've done an excellent job of explaining your side. The, the problem being that what's the problem your side is something that's argued in a court of law in our legislature it's not argued on the street but we are already i haven't identified myself as a corporation for you guys to even act on as being a, as acting over me as a corporate person so Bef before you became enlightened to your current way of thinking you subscribed to the traditional I values and beliefs and you got your picture taken because you really wanted to drive a car Okay, uh, that's how we got your picture. That's how we we're able to positively identify you. So you may have changed. But did I, I, I did not, did I agree to that's me? But all of that came I didn't happen. agree to that being me. Okay. So here's your options. Either the car gets towed, you get removed from the vehicle to allow for that to happen. You step out of the vehicle. So you guys are going to verbal. So you guys are going to verbally come inside of my car without permission, violating you guys' rights on camera. That's what yes. you guys want to do? and it will be on eight or nine cameras at this point. Okay? So, I know that you're a rational guy. You want to be able to present your case. I've already informed you that this is not, this is not the proper venue to make that case, right? We, we have the laws that we function by. You wish to change these things or you wish to subscribe to your own based on your beliefs. But those are not things that get argued at a street level. These are things that get argued at a level much higher than this. Okay? So, I'm going to move your car so that we don't have to tow it because the tow, fills the tow bills start to rack up pretty significantly. All right? And if you really want to go to court and if you want to get legal representation, all these things cost time and money. So, I don't want this to be so unnecessary. So, I can move my car out of the way, right? We are going to move your car back so that it's a legal parking spot, but then you are not able to drive your car away. You have to wait for a valid licensed driver to either sit in the passenger seat or take over the driver's seat for you. Mm. I get it. I mean, it's it's frustrating. You're you're just trying to be heard, but unfortunately, there's only so much there's only so much wiggle room that we have here. Um. Okay. So what's it going to be? Would you like to get your vehicle towed, or would you like to have us move back? I'm moving back. I mean, that's like. You guys are violating your guys' rights. I mean, uh, can, we, can we clear a spot behind here so we can get a move back? All right. Whoever's behind, uh, usher back up and then usher back up. And and I I appreciate it, right? To, I'm trying to help you out as best as I can because I understand that you and I are sort of never going to have the same philosophical beliefs about that. But I can only enforce what the legislature's telling me to. So that's where we are. All right, see how you have plenty of spot? So Officer Quellhouse is going to make sure you don't bump into the back of a police car by accident, okay? All right. Okay. All right, so go ahead and back it up for me. I got you. Thank you, sir. That is perfect, sir. Thank you. Okay, so like I said, you can't you can't drive. Okay, so are you going to be waiting here yep. for somebody, or waiting. are you going to be waiting I'm elsewhere be waiting. to come back to pick up the car later? I'm gonna be waiting. Can I have that paper back? Unless you uh, you want to keep it because it's good for you. No, actually. Do you have spare copies? If so, I'll keep it. No, I don't have a spare copy, but okay. it's so special that I want you to keep it. Okay, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. And I, yeah. no, go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm not, no, that's it. I'm done. Okay. All right. So, Officer Usher is, is typing up the citations now. He's going to come present them and explain them to you. Okay? From that point, Officer Usher is going to be sitting here waiting for your valid license driver to show up. And as soon as that happens, then we'll be good. You got a good phone number for you? No, I don't. I don't have
So how long have you been a true believer here? Is this like within the last year or more than that? As long as you can remember? Yeah, man. I've been trying to keep it. Because I got to go, like, like <laughs> I got to go. Jack, Mr. Jackson, I never got the, uh, what is the name that you would prefer for me to call you or the name that you identify with? I am E. Bay. E. I've Bay? been, to, I told him that. I am E. Bay. I am E. Bay. Gotcha. I am me. Thanks, guys. Am I being detained? Yeah, you're receiving the citations from Officer Rush. Um, I have the right to contract, so like, what am I, what am I signing? You don't have to sign anything. Okay. It's not like it used to be where it was, you know, press hard, you're making five. So what am I being detained for? If I'm receiving waiting. these citations and then you are unfree to leave in this vehicle as the driver until you have a valid license driver in your passenger seat or a valid license driver in your driver's seat. Uh, they get the one from the Ramada, that one we've been looking for? The news, yeah. Good. Good, good. I knew they were worried about her. Do you want to know the unit with you? 